Climate activist Disha Ravi has been targeted with baseless rumors online about her religion and motherhood ever since she was arrested by the Delhi police on charges of creating and sharing a toolkit in connection with the ongoing farmers protests. In fact, on Wednesday, one of the top trends on Twitter was Disha Ravi Joseph, which was shared by several users including popular actor Gajendra Chauhan and a Supreme Court advocate and a serial fake news offender Prashant Patel, alluding that she is a Christian involved in a conspiracy to break India. But as we got down to verifying these claims, we found that these rumours have absolutely no basis. Ravi's lawyer Prasanna R, speaking to news website The News Minute, rubbished these claims. He asserted that Disha Ravi's full name is Disha Anappa Ravi and she is a Hindu. He further questioned the relevance of her religion in the current context and said, Disha's religious identity does not matter here. How is it relevant if she is Christian or Hindu? She is a nature lover and has friends all over. She has not followed any religion, though she was brought up in a Lingayat household. It is unfortunate that we have to debunk this cooked up religious identity that is being used to spread hatred further. Prasanna R also stated that Disha's mother's name is Manjula and her father is Ravi. They're both from the Tumkur district in Karnataka. The same was also reiterated by her friends. But this doesn't stop here. Another claim which spread like wildfire on social media was that Disha Ravi is a single mother at the age of 21. This claim also made its way to a report by Times Now which provided no evidence to corroborate it but has now been updated without issuing any correction. We found news reports by The Print, The Indian Express and The Hindu which stated that Ravi is the daughter of a single mother who is the sole breadwinner of her family. Further, we also spoke to one of Ravi's friends who too refuted the claim that she is a single mother. Clearly, without any evidence or verification of source, these rumours led to a storm of social media posts targeting the climate activist. However, this is not the first time that misinformation is being used to discredit women activists and protesters. Earlier, similar claims were made around the marriage and pregnancy of Jamia scholar and anti-CA activist Safura Zarkar. We've been on our toes debunking these false claims. So if you come across any piece of information which you feel should be verified, send it to us on WhatsApp at 9643651818 or write in to us at webhoof at the rate the quin.com. Till then, follow Quint Fact Check on Facebook and Twitter to read all our fact checks and don't be a webhoof.